supposedly Bonobo did a back to back with Skrillex. Don't get me wrong. Um, um, Primworks, you know, you're good clickbait. They had a newsletter go out recently, or I'm um, part of their promotional email list thing, and they send out those email updates. And they had one titled something about Skrillex, and it sounded to me like maybe I misread it. It sounded like, oh, Chris Skrillex is going to play at Primworks. So I was like, you know what? I wouldn't mind seeing Skrillex at Primworks. I'm very, as much as some people hate EDM or hate this kind of big room DJs for the most part. I do like to go see the biggest DJs, like those kind of people play like Tiesto and those kind of dudes. I would like to see them play once just to get an idea about what it's all about, right? Again, it might not be for you. It might not be your taste, but it's sort of like my idea behind going to um, um, Tomorrowland, right? I know for sure I won't like the music overall, but I want to see, I want to go somewhere like that where everyone is so pumped and eager to hear that kind of music and see what it's all about get a real because tomorrow land those kind of places are a real accurate representation of what edm is about right the pyrotechnics the lights and all this shit cameras everywhere scantily clad girls loads of topless dudes people covered in glitter it's a real representation of what that scene's about like what they kind of the pinnacle of that scene the kind of you know the mountain rushmore so it's cool just to go see it just to, as, a, as a, music, a music fan i would like to go see it and just check it out so when i saw the video when i saw the email recently sorry saying that script's gonna play at printworks i was like oh my god amazing but it wasn't that it was that he did play at printworks previously um during a bonobo set bonobo played and he happened to be the surprise back-to-back -back guest and i was like wow that's a great idea imagine taking a really big edm producer dj and marrying them up with like a, a quite quote unquote underground or maybe lesser known electronic dj that'd be a pretty cool combination and skrillex and bonobo are probably um more far apart in terms of musical aesthetic or even in terms of no let's say crowd in terms of uh, fans you probably won't find a bonobo fan that's ever listened to a skrillex track and you probably won't find a skrillex fan that's ever listened to a bonobo track i don't think so they don't have any fans that cross over but the set would seem an interesting idea wouldn't it and there's this little clip they pop on the instagram again it's not a real accurate reputation of the night because it's just one little video but it basically it would be quite fun i guess because i remember a lot of djs say the, their best sets come off the back of a back to back right because you get to play with a big it's like especially if it's like a big room guy um big room guy girl playing uh back to back with like a underground person that underground person rarely has like you know big room tunes to play they're not really about playing bangers so for instance imagine getting a a melee lens to play back to back with like a Gerd Janssen or a melee lens to play back to back with um, Miss Kitten. That would be a good combination because one plays massive festivals, the other plays like, you know, really well known avant garde, forward thinking nightclubs. You know, the, you know, the kind of like, she has the reputation, she has the kind of corporate reputation in Miss Kittens and maybe uh, Melee Lens is more of the hipster's choice, but they'd really be a good complement to each other in the set. And it looks like from this video that it, it looked like that for it. Again, for the one minute I'm seeing here, it looked pretty interesting. Um, here's another play back to back. Obviously, mad fills and effects from Skrillex, but you know what do you expect? But it's amazing. I'm a fan, man. I, I want to see that. I'm a fan. I'd like to go see that. In real life. I'd love to go see him play back to back Bonobo. That'd be super amazing. But you just got to be thinking, like, imagine seeing back to back Skrillex and, and Bonobo because they've got no correlation, right? This um, Bonobo made this, right? Do you remember Bonobo? Bonobo's fucking an OG. Bonobo made this track. So imagine this track. Imagine the guy that made this track playing back to back with fucking Skrillex. Like, very, very strange. But also, I'm very intrigued to hear what it might sound like. Hope you guys can hear this. It's playing in the background, hopefully. Fucking encoding this can be a bit jittery, but this is Come on, load! But this is a bonobo track. Um it's called Kerala. I'm sure you some of you are aware of it. There's literally nothing that melds them together. Even just the five, first five seconds. But like, I don't think you ever hear a Skrillex track that sounds like this from the beginning, no? Mm -hmm. And then you've got the guy that played back to back with him was this dude, right? Imagine this dude played back to back with Bonobo. It's fucking nuts to think this happened. <laughs> Stop this. It sounds like nothing alike whatsoever. It's amazing to see personally. I, I quite like it. I'm not mad at it at all. Right, that don't sound nothing like someone someone that should be playing with Bonobo, does it? At all, no? Right? Or is it only me? I don't think so, but anyway, I'm interested to see it, man. I'm really interested to see it. That's why I'm keeping my eye out for 
some of the bigger DJs like Swedish House Mafia. I think Zed is meant to play somewhere recently soon. Two minutes pauses actually before it continues. Sorry, it sounds like some bad, um, you know, um, football compilation that you hear on YouTube. But um, I'm interested to see it, man. I want to see a big room guy play somewhere. Um, Swedish House Mafia, Zed, ba- Bias, all those kind of people play. I know Loans, Loans not really that big of a. He's well regarded, but it'd be cool to see those kind of people play out one time. You see all the pyrotechnics, see the people in a crowd. The very, very different kind of crowd, the very different kind of aesthetic and different kind of demands from the artists as well, all their hands up and shit. And it'll be interesting to see. But, you know, again, you say one thing, but are you really going to pay 30 quid to go and see Skrillex go play somewhere? I don't know. Don't know. Steve Aoki, mm, not a fan. It, you know, it reminds me, it reminds me of that video. You remember um, Seth Troxler when he went to Tomorrowland and he fucking hated it? Because <laughs> Seth Troxler hates EDM. He hates Steve Aoki. He was one of the biggest, loudest people critics of the whole um, cake to the face thing. I think Steve Aoki stops it now because someone sued him, right? I'm pretty sure. Or maybe they sign waivers when they walk into the, the place. But I remember Steve, Seth Troxler being one of the w- p- first people that fucking hated it, right? Seth Troxler. Let me see if I can find it. Seth Troxler went to Tomorrowland. It was super funny, man. <laughs> Um, it was like it was funny because he just really didn't like being there. <laughs> you can see from his face. There's a video on YouTube. It's called Seth Trucks the Tomorrowland EDM what? main stage, right? Look at him. Everything's just freaking him out. <laughs> look at the crowd anyway. Look at him compared to everyone else is there. We don't even look That's at the same the people. Pit. Look at him. <laughs> this guy putting on his t shirt, he's walking up the stairs, two dudes dressed in pink. No one knows who Steph Troxler is either, right? I think I think this might have been the time when he was maybe voted second best DJ in the world by Resident Advisor. This is like, or maybe around that time. This is probably around that time, right? So he's big. He's fucking huge. And no one in that audience knows who he is. And that's what always makes me wonder, like, because you know what I think? I think there's more fans. There's more, there's more electronic music fans or underground electronic music fans, people that maybe read it as an advisor who know more about EDM artists than, than there are EDM fans who know about the other side, right? I think so. Like, it, it's really bizarre to see it. Like, no one recognizes him for the most part. Like, it's just like... It bothers me. <laughs> Look, <exactly. laughs> I'm listening to bad music. It really upsets me. I've been calling <laughs> uh, some of that stuff lately sonic ear rape. <laughs> Sonically ate Sonic ear rape. It bothers me. See his face. It bothers me. It really bothers me. Sonic ear rape. Oh, I love it. Look his face. I'd love to go just to go see him for, for the joke, so I'd love to go just for the bands. But look, there's a fucking there's a there's a drone on a fucking camera swing. <laughs> glitter. He fucking hated it, he? he hated it so much. They're mocking it so bad, but yeah, I don't blame them, innit? It's what it is. I guess if you come from playing at the Berg Island, Grace Mueller, and you know, the school, then um, uh, <laughs> all these legendary places, fabric, right? And then you go to this, you're like, what in the fuck is this, isn't it? Oh, you play at Glastonbury and shit, and then you go see this, you're like, nah, 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 this is not for me, pal. It's not for me. But yeah, Seth Troxler hates, hates, hates EDM, but you know, I don't mind it. I, I wouldn't mind checking it out and seeing what it's about. Just just to go see for for the one time, just to go see 